So I want to change the subject again a little bit, and I want to talk about time, really. Time. Uh, this has come from uh, well, Mr. Hall and, and Matthew. Uh, how do you develop your sense of time and style, and who or what were the biggest influences in this respect? And how can players most effectively huh? develop this themselves? So this Where's is something that? we talk a lot about at band, and it, when all across three of our bands, Gordon, yeah, time, you know, and subdivision and play, well, placement of notes, you know. I mean, personally, you know, when you're practicing, it was Ash. Is Ash there? He, Where is he? he well, yeah, can't he's see. around somewhere, but I yeah. can't see him there. That's all right. Um, hi, Ash. Um, metronome when you're practicing. Uh, individually, I practice with a metronome. Something I wish I'd done years ago. Um, uh, the influence was uh, Nigel Carter, who was the first trumpet of the BBC band. Okay. When I first started doing that, I had a bit, I suppose you could say I had a bit of a military background, a bit, bit symphonic maybe. And I would go pa 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 rather than da 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 da. And Nigel would lean forward and go, hey, Gordon, doodle doo da, doodle doo da, doo -da <laughs> like that. Oh, yeah, okay, Nigel. So I reckon that Nigel was my greatest teacher at that. Okay. Um, um, but definitely metronome, 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 every time. And, and now I'll talk about something, uh, an internal metronome. So you become, you become the metronome. Uh, you try to develop like click, 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 when you're playing without the metronome. You know, obviously you've got to play uh, with it so, without it sometimes. So you, you have to develop an internal metronome. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you probably talked about that in the band, Paul, you know, um, that the band has to have an, an internal metronome. Like if somebody's slightly out, it's going, hey. But if you get it all together, it's like, whoa, that's it, you know. Yeah, well, it's that whole thing about uh, ensemble. If the ensemble's tight and controlled yeah. and in time, then you yeah. get the whoa. But if people aren't playing in time, you, you lose that sort of yeah. whoa yeah. factor, don't you? That's the thing. Which, if you play, you've all got sections. If you're all playing in a section, you've got to play that. that your section's got to play together. Um, like, really together, together, together. Um, I call it... Um, uh, I don't know if you can see me, sort of that or that. Uh, so that is peripheral. So you, you're aware of what the other two players are doing and you're playing together with them, you know. And in some, in some ways, it's, um, it's a spiritual thing as well because you're, you're in somebody else's head. And, and mm -hmm. when, when you get that, it's like, whoa, what's happened there, you know. Um, you're actually making somebody else play with you if you're on first trombone or or the guy that's on second trombone is playing with you rather than playing that yeah that that uh, um what's the word for that um can't remember the name of it but um so you're thinking like that and then all around the band so the whole band is like you're like a football team really you know you you're like or sorry, I shouldn't say that. A rugby team. I don't talk about football as a place of space they are. Um, like a rugby team, a rugby team. Um, that you're you're all part of the one. The old band is part of the one. I think you're getting that, aren't you? I think yeah, everybody's yeah. starting to get that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell by the way you've gone up. You know. Yeah. Great.